Hey, softy. You must be rubbing off on me, cos I just wanted to say you did good back there. I'm glad to know I can trust you lot. You're free to use the 404 hubs and complete contracts. I'll be out there, fighting the good fight. Hope I'll see you out there too. Laters. I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. Please tell me you've got a real plan. I've tangled with men like Cass before. If we're just playing at being resistance fighters, we're stepping into a world of hurt. Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Which is a move straight out of a warlord's playbook. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. AI giant Broker Tech announced today that they are cancelling Daybreak, the neural mapping technology designed to allow people to live forever. A spokesperson for the company told press the decision to shutter the project was made out of respect for the memory of their founder, the late Sky Larson. What the company has in store following the death of their illustrious leader remains to be seen. Yes. <laughs> 
Malaji has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. All right. Let's go talk to the man. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Prov is paranoid as. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Got it. Shit. I feel like if I breathe too hard, I'd blow this place sky high. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Fine, I'm on it. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Move! One more muscle, Chief, and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. You don't want to do that, believe me. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Think a little more underground. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Listen. Albion knows you're in London. You have got to run. Go! Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, Cass is worse than you know. Yeah, we know. Why do you think I'm here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. I'm no mercenary. We came here to get your help putting Cass down. He tried to pin the bombings on us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what- Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! 
and I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck. Think. Think. Shit. Fine. Table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. Found him. No! I lost them. Any sign of the target? Anyone? All units disengage. The suspect has disappeared. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. Well, here at Ixotec, we believe in rewarding hard work. With entry-level positions, apprenticeships, and conversion courses, we can give you the start in life you've been looking for. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen. I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state? Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. OK, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be in cyber security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this.
Uh, hmm. Tell me you got a plan to get me into the Tower of London, and it's not pretend to be a tourist. I'd like to help, fam, but now I just caught a whiff now. Before the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? It's what we signed up for. Cass wants to unveil some secret project at this meeting, and we may be the only people standing in his way. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Hmm, interesting. Send me their details. I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might... ...be approachable. So, we're just supposed to find an Albion PMC and show them the light? They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity is much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking? Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. Ready to do your part and take back the city. You're saying you're with DeadSec? I could use the help. We'll see. What's the problem? I got this mate. He got some kind of lung infection, but he can't get no help through National Health. Then a Clan Kelly doctor offered to help. For a high price, of course. But I couldn't say no. Keep talking. Them drugs worked. Oh, they really work too well. Now my mate's addicted to the stuff, and this doctor knows it. He's charging three more times than he did the first. We're stuck. We need help. Sounds like a real piece of shit. Don't worry. We'll get your friend the medicine they need. Well, this quote-unquote doctor is a real winner. He was struck off the medical register for gross malpractice last year, and now he's a freelance mob surgeon. Nice work if you can get it. Bagley, think you can track him down? I am quite literally always tracking everyone down. Pushing you his coordinates now.
got it. I'm me now. Sweep the area! Drone, begin a search. Kelly doctor you're looking for is close by. Seems he's got a laptop with him too, presumably with a folder somewhere on it labelled crimes. There's the laptop. Yes, I just sprinkled fairy dust on it and the thing encrypted its fucking self. This part's good. Let's keep yeah, looking. I when I catch up to them. Ha. Ha. Huh? Is that so? <laughs> Fucking Albion dogs think you're tough shit, innit? You're just some work and I don't think you're a punch around. Mind you. Sorry. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Mean yourself. <laughs> safety while I analyze the data. are being stored. I'm sure Mary Kelly won't mind if you nick a few.
I'm detecting a vehicle nearby with at least two years' worth of treatments inside. That's more than enough to wean our contact's friend off the treatment. Got it. There's the vehicle with the drugs in it. Try not to destroy it. safe location where our friend could pick it up. Sending you the coordinates now. Protecting London since 1829. Took care of it. We got the drugs to a safe location. Our AI will send you the coordinates. Hope this helps your friend. I owe you one. Dead sex always looking for more people. You interested? Just what I was hoping to hear. I mean. <laughs>
Welcome to the team. Hope you're ready for this. Thanks. I'm ready to bring real justice where it's needed. Nice. I don't think I'll be able to reason with this one. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. Seems that manky little nerd was the one who kept diverting relief supplies away from the borough to keep everyone in line for Albion. These days you can do a lot more evil with a spreadsheet than a drone fleet. Wonderful.
to last known position. You're not oh. going to be Moving to investigate. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. How is it you know more about him than I do? Yeah, I was Albion too, if you hadn't twigged to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. <laughs> He was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Seriously, for real? Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. Everything is proceeding on schedule. And Mr. Cass is as determined as ever to make the White Tower as safe as possible. Terrorist attacks. Waste of breath. Can't win. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. This new project the director's presenting upstairs is a game changer. Can't wait to see it roll out. So can this you is going to make our jobs that much easier and save our careers. Move to his glory I heard someone saying dead sick was back. They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have morals. This door clearly requires a security pass. Wonderful. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cass Senior's death. Sure me. Internal psych assessment AS001 subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame, and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Jesus Christ, me have issues, but this, this is a next level, you know. Them choose him, are all people to secure London? Blood clot.
Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! This new project the director's presenting upstairs is a game of change. Can't wait to see it roll out. This is going to make our jobs that much easier. I'll say this. Yeah, Show them what British minds is made on account of seeing a drone. I heard someone saying dead sick. They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have morals. How's it going? Feel a bit tense. Well, I like this. How are you getting on with those metrics? The deadline is coming up quick. You wouldn't do to miss it. He's presenting some state. Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, 
I couldn't stand here and tell you, but I promise you that with the launch of Project Emis, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the Defence Minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. <gasps> it's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh, no. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. I need an exit. The catacombs, fam. Go, go, go! No, no, no! Surrender now! <laughs> about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. I need an exit. The catacombs, fam.
lied you an action in there, didn't you? Man can be very, uh, uh, persuasive. But in control, that was for effect. But also to get results. To get Themis launched as soon as possible. I don't like this. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. 